What's going on? I'll be with I'll be Fitness Gaming, and you've seen the title of the video. You know why you're here. All right, Four Color Nightfall. So this is going to be a deck tech on my Four Color Nightfall deck. I'm going to do my best to go over why I chose the lands that I chose, why every creature is in here, and some tips and tricks on how to play this deck. Alright, so for those that don't know, the way the combo works is Knight of the Reliquary will retreat to Coral Helm. Retreat to Coral Helm. Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. You may tap or untap target creature, or you can scry. So with Knight of the Reliquary, it gets plus one plus one for each land in your graveyard. You can sacrifice a forest or a plains, search your library for a land card, and put it into the battlefield to shuffle your library. So the way it works is you fetch. You use Knight, land comes into play, uh, retreat, on top your Knight. Now because you have fetch lands, you can get two triggers. So with the second triggers, you can either untap Noble Hierarchs or Birds of Paradise, which we play a total of seven, four nobles, three birds. This will help you generate mana. Um, and also you can tap the land before you sack it, so you're generating a lot of mana while you're doing that. You also have Courser of Crufix, four of them. So as this is going on, you are also gaining life. You have Tracker. So if you have a, crack, a Tracker in play, you are generating, uh, not only are you getting mana, but you're getting a lot of clue tokens to draw into cards, which I'm going to explain to you is very relevant. Um, and then you have Ravenap Excavator, which can bring your utility lands back into play if you need them. So on a nutshell, that's how the combo works with some creatures here but let me explain a little bit more in depth here so we'll start with the lands so for the lands with utility lands we have flagstone we have gaviny township we have ghost quarter we have cassock wolf Run, and we have uh, horizon canopy so flagstone is here um, because there's a neat little interaction where you can fetch out a flagstone if you have a ghost quarter in play and then you can destroy your own flagstone putting two lands in your graveyard and getting you two lands so it's a nice way to just pump up your night extremely fast um and then we have gaviny township because we have so many mana dorks activating gaviny township and creating a you know a presence of a board with a lot of plus one plus one counters on the smaller creatures is a thing we have, of course, the one of Ghost Quarter, which we can use to boost up our own knight, or we can use to get rid of problematic lands. We have Keswick Wolf Run. Um, even without the combo, the knight can get pretty big, because this deck has a lot of ways to put the, the lands in the graveyard. Um, and, of course, we also have Birds of Paradise, which can be evasive, So we can, and we're going to be generating a lot of mana. So Keswick Wolf Run to pump up our creatures and give them Trample. Horizon Canopy, just a good land to draw. The deck plays three forests, two planes, so we play a lot of basics. That's why we're able to play Magus of the Moon in the sideboard. And then, as for the shock lands, we have Stomping Ground. That helps us with Keswick Wolf Run, and also if we need to, to cast Magus of the Moon. Uh, Breeding Pool, that helps us cast the Retreat to Coral Helm, and our Spell Quellers, and our Teferis. We also have, remember, three birds and four Noble Hierarchs. Then we have the two Temple Gardens and eight Fetch Lands. So that sums it up there for the lands. So we'll talk about the creatures here. We have our Mana Accelerators here. We want a lot because we want to uh, jump right into casting our three drops and into our Collected Companies and Retreat to Coral Helm. We have one Hex Drinker as a late game bomb. If this is a mid-range deck, so um, as we're going back and forth, we do have an Ace in the Hole with Hex Drinker, again, we're going to be generating a lot of mana, so we can turn this into a mini Progenitus. Then we're going to have our two drops. Our two drops are more of our utility creatures. We have Scavenging Ooze for Graveyard Hate. We have two Quasali Pride Mage to get rid of problematic artifacts and enchantments. We have a one of Scrib Ranger. Scrib Ranger, um, I mean, for those that never seen this card, Protection from Blue, that is extremely relevant. Uh, return a Forest you control to its owner's hand. Untap target creature activate this only once each turn and it has flash so you, you know so Scrib Ranger is a card that you can do all kinds of shenanigans with especially with Knight of the Reliquary um, You can use it to To untap your birds or your noble high arcs so you can get multiple Activations if you're missing a land drop you can bounce a land 
play it back to get additional clue tokens with your tracker, gain more life for your courser. But with Knight of the Reliquary, you're able to activate your Knight. And if you have this in your hand because it has flash, you can flash it in, untap your Knight without them knowing, block, tap your Knight, sack again, upkeep your turn again, tap Knight, sack lands, untap your Knight attack on their turn on top night so you can just run through your deck extremely fast even without the retreat to coral helm it's a really sneaky card in a in a card that can uh lead into blowouts so then and then we have what glues the deck together is voice of resurgence voice of resurgence plays an important role in this deck because a lot of times when they do kill your mana accelerators if you don't have another one to play you really want to play a voice of resurgence this is going to limit your opponent from playing on your turn because if they do, you're going to generate a token. It's also going to create uh, a, a great blocker that can get you a token. Um, importantly, too, since we are playing a lot of one ofs, these tokens tend to get big extremely fast. So this is a great card to have in this deck. And then we have our three drops. Uh, we have two Skyclave Operation. These are pretty much your catch-all. We don't play much of these because we do have Collected Company and it's a little awkward to hit them when there's nothing on the board to take. But these are pretty much like your catch-all to try to bridges, any uh, blood moons or anything that may be causing a problem. You got your Ramanav Excavator. Like I mentioned earlier, this is going to help you bring back your lands that you need or even fetch lands if you're going to gain life and gain tokens with the tracker. Keep in mind this is a mid-range deck but it can win on turn 3. Um, we have our Courser of Crew Fix. Since we're doing a lot of landfall triggers, this is going to help us with card advantage by playing lands from our top of our library and gain life as we go off with Knight. So it's going to be very hard to kill us because we're going to constantly be gaining knife. Now, this card also plays a big role because it allows us to see the top card of our library. So this goes back to Horizon Canopy um, and Scrying and generating mana with the retreat because with this card when we see the card on the top of our library we can decide whether or not we want to draw that card or not if we have clue tokens we can generate mana to to draw the card if we don't want that card we can we can toss it away fetch it away with either night activation or a fetch activation um and grabbing a horizon canopy we can scry if we don't like that card from a landfall and you know basically we can filter through our deck and draw the cards that we want because we have ways to draw with horizon canopies and the trackers uh, then of course we got Night of Reliquary, we got Path to Exile, we got the Collected Companies and we got the Retreat to Coral Helm now let's talk about the sideboard here so the sideboard we have two Aven Mind Sensors this is another catch all to kind of just slow down your opponent uh, we have Kataki Warage for all the artifact decks we have Eidolon uh, Rhetoric. This is for all the Cascade decks um, and Storm decks. Collector Uth for all the Artifact decks. We also bring it in against things like Tron sometimes. Magus of the Moon. Uh, Land Hate. Then we have Spell Quellers. Spell Quellers are against you know, other combo decks um, that we need. Or decks where we're trying to temple them out. But mainly against combo decks where we really need to interact with them. And counter their spells to... Uh, to fairy against control decks and cascade decks and then wheel of sun and moon is our graveyard hate it also does a really good job of hating out mill decks you just target yourself and all your cards go back into the bottom of your library all right well this is my landfall uh night landfall it's a four color deck uh, I'm going to go ahead and play some games with it here and I'll be uploading those. But this is the deck tech for this. If you have any questions, comment at the, mod at the bottom. If you have any recommendations, let me know uh, any cards, any ideas you want to play. Um, if we, real quick, I'll just say if we were not playing the Retreat to Coral Helm, we would replace the Voice for Resurgence for Stoneforge Mystic and just make it like a green white value deck. But because of the way the deck is set up, Voice of Resurgence is the better card for this deck. Anyways, go ahead, like, subscribe, share my video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and take care.